Right then. Welcome, drive along fans. How you doing? Did you see that funny face I was pulling? Eh? Oh, isn't it wonderful? Aren't we grand? Aren't we beautiful? We're all wickedly, wonderfully, magically sound. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I think I'm fucking clear. We're having a wonderful day. The sun is out. We're going to do a bit of a drive. Moment. You may not believe this, but we are up in Leeds. We are indeed. We are in Leeds, and we are about to go to... So it's going to be a bit of a trick. Trafford Park. Yeah, baby. Trafford Park. So where are we going with the sun shining? Up and over the pens. And the added bonus of that is, is the fact that I'm not heavy. So it'll be... It'll be all that sort of shit, so it'll be great. I'll be in the middle lane most of the time because I am in a reasonably fast truck. It's a little quicker than most. Wobble, wobble. So there you go. Happy days. Brilliant. Wicked stuff. But other than that, you know, everything's great. Oh, by the way, um, yes, now, I know that there hasn't been a video up. The simple fact of the reason is because they've been so long and I just hadn't had time, right? But um, I have put all the lights on, I've put all the sounds on, on each camera, right? So that when I turn them on, they bleep. Hang on, hang on a minute. Hello, 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 welcome, you are on YouTube. Well, at the moment, I am uh, currently uh, on my way to um, Trafford Park. Mm. It is a bit. Uh, well, basically, fed up and pissed off. No. They don't, they don't like it. Go on then, what you got then? Hmm, <laughs> nearly was gone. Now, the reason of coming around this island like this, right, now, you're going to where, did you say? That's that's down Junction 18 of the fucking M1. Oh, very nice. Ah. Hang on a minute. Hang on two seconds. With me being staggered out, I can see up this... Um, junction so I can get through because if I pull to the dotted line then I wouldn't be able to uh, pull out because I wouldn't have to see and then you have got to try and creep 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 and it's a bit of a danger here so I don't bother right continuing the conversation with my mate hang on carry on you were saying you're up to uh, do, the, do a trailer change with the rugby truck stop Oh, nice. Well, that's it. Well, I'm, like I say, you're on the way to Rugby Truck Stop and I'm on my way to uh, Trafford Park. Happy days. Crawl. Ain't it always? Yes, you can do, because it'd be rather funny having a one-sided conversation. Speak to you later. Ta -da. Oh dear, dear, dear. Sometimes, eh? Hey, it happens. It does happen. But as you noticed, right? Hands free. Nothing wrong with hands free. There's no law against that yet. 
I say yet, because you never know these fucking do good in toss pots who go it's fucking crap talk out their arseholes but anyway that's a different conversation altogether um yes we are now on the 621 the m621 by the way and uh, we're going to be cutting across here drop onto the m62 which will be about junction 27 and then when we've done that it'll be a skip up and over the hills which we've done before you know that for a fact we've obviously there's video on there of the uh, pins but hey uh, you know why not you got this little bit of an added bonus as well eh? Yeah, so we haven't done this one not so much anyway so it's virtually the full length of the uh, the 621 to be fair because uh, junction 7 all the way around to the uh, m62 so there you go some date some different anyway as i was uh, I was talking about uh, the putting the the the, uh, the lights and the uh, and the sounds back on the camera, right? I know we haven't put up yet, because I will do that on the weekend. But the video that I'd done when I was at the chicken farm was spectacular, and I'm not kidding you. It was brilliant, absolutely fantastic. And uh, the fact that the one camera I must have caught it with my fingers as I was mounting it. I turned it off, the record off. Now the reason why I don't have the lights on and I don't have the uh, the sounds on is to try and steal as much of the uh, battery life as I possibly can, right? To make them last a little longer, right? Last a little longer. Anyway, um, but because of that incident and um, knowing that I'll never go back there again not a chance there'd be no way because uh, it was definitely a one-off i've lost that now i won't get it i won't be able to do it again but i have got the front and i have got the right side at least that's something but wow it would have been trust me i know i'm saying it now on this video and whether i put this one up first or that one up first i don't know but if you've watched it you'll know what i mean if you're watching this though first it's like you'll see what I mean right it, it was just incredible uh, I took my breath away and the rain stayed away as well the sun was breaking through in certain parts oh man the road itself was like what the fuck we got to go down there what so yes and I do refer to the left hand side as well as the right hand side but obviously that's screwed oh well how oh, how howdy ho how how he how he how 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 never never mind so hence when i uh, set the cameras up now <clears throat> there'll be beep 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 all, all that kind of crap because i want to know that they're on i want to know that they're recording and if i do catch them with my finger and turn them off at least it'll go and let me know it's been turned off right so there is that end of story done conversation finished we can carry on with something else now can't we like the wind has picked up why are we doing 45 miles an hour eh? why let me guess you're an old fart who is incompetent at driving oh what a fucking geller Hey. Put your fucking foot down! You fucking flat cap twat! You knob jockey. There's no need for it. it really ain't. It's annoying. All they're doing is just fucking delaying other people. Not just me, it's other people they're delaying. You know what I mean? As you look to your left, and yes, I have got a left on. It is on. I've checked. <coughs> shall we do it, shall we? I know that uh, Jamie said to me, he says, you cannot do left, right, front of me without doing the cameras as well. Are you ready? I 
said a left, a right, a front, and me. I said a left, right, front, to me. I said a left, right, front, and me. I said a left, right, front, to me. I'll get it on now. <laughs> left, right, front, to me. Is that good enough? <laughs> oh dear. You do realise, right? Now, you might think that, oh, you know, you go into the cameras really well. Yeah, but do you know how long it takes to do that little bit there, right? It takes ages. But well, I do do it just for you lot, because I know how much you like it. So there you are. Happy days. I ain't doing it again, because it's always like, just take a long time to do it. <laughs> Oh dear. Do we explain? All right. The reason why it takes a long time to do it is because I have to uh, when it, when I go left, I have to zoom in the the the, uh, the track, pull the track to uh, when the the word left starts. Let the left word. Then when it right starts, I've got to pull that track in, zoom into it, make sure play it all again, make sure it switches from one to the other. If it don't, then I'm gonna zoom back in again, tweak it a little bit more. It takes a long time. And especially if I do it more than once. Because that's four cameras. If I do it four times, that's like fucking an hour's work in that little bit there, soft as it sounds. There you have it, done. <laughs> oh dear. Yes. I got up this morning, got myself ready, had a dump, quite impressed with that, but straight out, no problem at all. <clears throat> uh, sorted my stuff out, off to work, and for some unknown reason, standing outside, talking to my mate, it was very, very cold. I got my coat zipped up, and I'm like, and I even commented like I think it's so fucking cold out here today ain't it bloody hell fire anybody think it was November and then doing this bit look at me I'm in my t-shirt I'm sweating my tits off what the fuck is going on with this weather it don't make no sense how can it feel like fucking minus two in the morning and then be like fucking what is it on the clock don't say cross it what is it fucking feels like 20 degrees fucking ridiculous nuts it's absolute fucking monkey nuts, it is. Absolute monkey nuts. Come on, driver. I'm not going to pull in front of you. I just want to get on the road. As you can tell, the signs are saying 60 miles an hour. And if you looked at my dashboard, you would see that we're doing about 40 fucking eight. All because people are fucking stupid. But they are. Sorry, I can't help it. They don't think. It's like yesterday, prime example. There was a bit of a... How can I put it? Um, a brain turd episode, I suppose we can call it. Between three drivers. Well, I think it was three, was it three? I think it was three. There was a van, a car, and I think there was another car as well. On the fast lane, I know I said it, lane three, shunted up each other's assholes. I'm like, what the fuck? How? How have you done that? There was an ambulance there and blah, 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 whatever. Now, because it was in the section on the M1 where you've got all these matrix signs, it's flashing up first for about a mile and a half, if not two mile, with the arrow pointing. Right, it's which means, if nobody ever knew this, it means get over. It just flashes at you. Get over. Right? Translation, arrow flashing, pointing that way, it's going, get over. So of course, did anybody pay attention? Did they fuck? So after about two miles of these lights going, get over. What's the next light? A red cross. What does the red cross mean? Lane closed. Right? Now, not only 
was I still in the fucking line all the way up to the ambulance which is rather daunting they all tried to cut in at that last minute which again is infuriating a bit like the cock box who decided to cut in front of me at the hatching point on the A13 nearly taking my mirrors off with his fucking trailer he got a horse box on the back of him it's like a um, I don't know it was a flatbed transit type of type vehicle right with the box, little flat box on it uh, pulling one of these horse boxes fuck knows why because he looked like a, work, a maintenance worker and he's come wow right and his trailer was here and I'm like ah you fucking dopey fucking elastic banded fucking mental nut bullocks you're a cunt yeah I went off on one because he like I say his trailer he nearly took me fucking mirror off right then right as the day progresses and I get round that lot I'm heading up the um, M1 happy a couple of sticky points but nothing major yes we've got a bit of road works there but to be honest with you it moved reasonably well I can't argue it was alright I had a couple of sticking points but we did alright until we got on the M6 and then I'm like I don't believe what I'm seeing here I just do not believe what I'm seeing I have not got a clue what's going on here what, am I in the fucking twilight zone or what a foreigner not a truck driver this is a car driver pulling a caravan about 65 mile an hour up on the lane in lane 3 I'm like I'm, I'm, I'm checking around and thinking what country am I in? Because obviously foreign registration plate, like you know, and he's on lane three. So, I'm like, what the? And he, and he just off here on his merry way. I'm thinking, where is there a copper when you need one? Huh? As a little bit of information for you, right? Towing a trailer on the motorway, right? Little tidbit for you. Speed limit, 60 miles an hour, okay? That doesn't matter whether it's an Arctic or whether it's a car, right? Or a van or a bus. Towing a trailer, 60 miles an hour. You are not allowed in lane three whilst pulling a trailer because you are limited to 60 miles an hour. It's a 70 mile an hour road, all right? So, after that, you got the uh, foreigner whipping up on lane three, this caravan doing about 65, 70. And then, getting closer towards home, a British driver with his family, a couple of kids, a missus, overtaking me in lane three which would be fine but they had a fucking twin axle caravan on the fucking back of them didn't they ah again on the horn get the fuck the f get them oh I tell you what i couldn't believe my eyes and then it's like has he been watching that fucking foreign i thought he can get away mm. because i was right on top of him i was like yo f that thing yet but now when sailing past me in lane three i wish i had the cameras on but obviously I was coming back and it was blah blah it's amazing isn't it whenever I have the cameras on right we never get anything we never get anything really it's just a nice pleasant drive everybody does as you know as they're supposed to do they behave as soon as i am not got the cameras on I get all sorts of shit I'm telling you now right I wish I had like a hundred gig on each camera and a constant power supply I'd record the whole fucking day I really would record the lot because to not have that on video is just such a shame I just don't get it the only thing I can think of is like I said before which I, you haven't seen the video yet but hey they see the two cameras on the back of the truck 
and they beside, decide to behave themselves because they don't know what to expect. They don't know whether they're on or not. So they don't do anything stupid. That's anything I can think of. But if you'd have seen that lot, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Never seen anything like it in my life. Two caravans in lane three. As if they don't know the rules. It's fucking stupid. Absolutely stupid. Not only is it stupid, it's fucking dangerous. It's in glass, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, look, here comes the fucking rain. Here comes the rain again. To ruin the fucking video again! Let's help I drive past it. You never know, I might be lucky. <coughs> I might be lucky. I might get past it. It might hold. Oh no. Oh no. Look at the state of that fucking lot up there. Oh good grief. No, how long is it raining? It's coming in fucking torrents. Awesome. I'm fucking awesomeness. Move out of my way because this fucking driven idiot here can't drive fucking fast enough. It's only a bit of rain and you're going up a fucking hill for shit's sake. Fuck it off! We oh, can't drive! <laughs> Panic stations, it's a bit of weird here. Really? You're gonna try doing fucking <coughs> 55 miles an hour in lane two on the A1 when it's full of fucking snow and it's snowing like a twat. And all you see is snow go like a plow. And obviously people following you because you're the only brave idiot that's going and plowing through all that shit. Hey, I had to get a Newcastle. I was gonna sit there behind everybody doing 30 mile an hour and fuck that when lane lane two is clear. Well, it's not being used. And I've always said it, right? And then when we have the snow and stuff like that, simple fact if you don't use it you will lose it especially the snow come down really heavily what are you breaking for it's only a bit of water it won't hurt you fucking straddler fucking dolly guy i tell you what you're a lot of shit fuck off I don't know, what do you like? You can still see where you're going. There's no need to fucking keep jumping on the brakes because you just rain a little bit harder. Speed your fucking wipers up if you're a scaredy cat. Me, 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 me. You bunch of dribbling fucking idiots. Sorry, but that's just me. This shit don't bother me. Right? Rain, fog, snow, don't give a fuck. I don't like the snow. I'd rather not drive in it, because things can go stupid when you have idiots on the road. But this stuff don't bother me, you know. I don't really pay much, you know, mind to it. If it rains hard, it rains hard. If it's foggy, it's fucking foggy. You know, I don't really give monkeys. But I don't go slamming on my brakes just because it goes <laughs> for two seconds, no. It's just no point. Oh well, look at this. Cue ahead. Yeah, because they're all scaredy cats with a bit of water. You miserable arseholes. Now you might go on now saying, well the thing is though, Jace, what about all the spray on the road and stuff like that? I said, well, look at it like this, right? You can slow down, but you haven't got to jab your brakes on. You just decelerate, right? Decelerating is better than sticking your fucking brakes on. You know what I mean? Just decelerate bring yourself down you haven't got to go from 70 down to fucking 40 that's just silly all we have to do take your foot off the off the accelerator decelerate simple easy nobody gets any fucking problems with that you have to be aware of obviously surface water yes all well and good if you keep your fucking peepers open 
you will see it. Again, you decelerate, right? If you hit a, a, a big portion of water, right, and it causes you to uh, aquaplane, well, you're just at the mercy of that until you land back on the road again. But you've got to go with it, not fight it. Right? And nine times out of ten, if you don't fight it, you will just go up, across, and down. Right? You've just got to remember not to put your foot on the brake, and not to accelerate, and just hold on tight and go for it. All right? It's all you can do. Not a lot else. And you'll find that this lot here, because we've had that big massive downpour, we might have been a little bit worse earlier on, but because of them going, <gasps> oh, water! I can't, water! I can't see! Water! In the form of rain! My wipers are working, but I don't want to go too fast because I'm scared of the droplets hitting my windscreen. So then you see they tend to go, <gasps> and then we have this. Q, 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 because of the brake wave. <sighs> there won't be anything exciting. No. There won't be a 20 car pile up down here. No. There won't be something like fucking burst into flames. No, we won't get none of that. No. It's just a matter of big downpour, drivers panicking, stamping on the brakes. That's all it is. <sighs> that's really fucking annoying me that is. I can't believe that that's happened. Considering that this like beautiful over there, shit over there. Oh well, never mind. Can't have anything, can we? These things do happen. Here comes the rain again Raining on me truck and me cameras too Making it all shitty and misty Fucking sleep in my eyes, still oh. You know, yesterday when I got home and I was hungry um, I just couldn't muster the energy to have anything healthy at all. I just wasn't in the mood for it. No. So I had chocolate and wine gums. And coffee. Yeah, I just I couldn't be arsed. I didn't feel like a wrap. I couldn't I don't want anything from the chippy. Which I don't anyway these days, it's pretty well, I haven't for a long time. But you know, I was just in that mood, I just couldn't be bothered. So, chocolate and wine gums. I was half expecting to be wake up this morning with a chronic indigestion and a heartburn, acid reflux, but I didn't. I was quite impressed. I don't feel fat either, which is another thing. But, um, yes, it's not, a, not, not the healthiest of diets, is it really? <clears throat> which was uh, quite amusing about dieting because when I was sitting uh, in the uh, waiting room at the place I was delivering yesterday down in Thurrock I ain't going to say where it is but you can guess beans with tea and I'm sitting there and I'm playing with phone and they've got the TV on as well and there's the this morning program and whatever it was and they came on the subject of dieting they got this doctor there and somebody else and somebody else and they're all going about nutrition and and all that sort of stuff and is uh, certain diets better than others is calorie 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 no cal calorie calorie counting better or is it good for you and I'm thinking yeah because I'm proof of it and then they were saying that um, the cal calorie counting is okay but you tend to skip on meals and you don't have enough of the right stuff because there are rights and there are wrongs which obviously we all know 
and uh, then this one woman who's got a clinic who deals with people who are overweight she says when they're coming and I'm telling them to eat fat the good fats like the ones that are in peanuts and olive oils and all that so there's there's different types of fats that are all bad for you and good for you and um, you know and they're like well I'm morbidly overweight and you want me to eat fat well yeah it does well but then you got the other doctor who's saying this but the best diet which has been medically proven blah blah is the Mediterranean diet which I agree with him right their balanced diet between fish the olive oils the veg fresh vegetables and the way it's cooked steamed and all that sort of shit right it is the best kind of uh, food to have right healthy as hell brilliant and all the rest of it and this doctor was pushing that like you know you know problem but it was the other one the woman who was sitting in the studio who was there mentions yes but the thing is though and I've got my ears pricked here, I'm going waiting for it. Not everybody's the same. Ah, she's got a brain, I like her. And this is plus as well, you're forgetting to mention that some of these diets, including the Mediterranean one, are quite expensive to be on. I'm thinking, phew, good grief, somebody who's actually speaking truths for a change instead of wobbling on with bollocks, like myself. Um, <clears throat> And I'm thinking, good grief, this makes a change that actually somebody has pointed out that not everybody out there can go on a Mediterranean diet, right? You just can't afford to, for one. I mean, if you worked out the price of each meal that you create, right, with a Mediterranean diet, it'd cost you like fucking 30 quid a day. It's ridiculous, fuck that. McDonald's is just as good. Anywho, Right. Plus, there may be some people out there, there that, that don't like fish. Myself, I'm not a fan. I, do, I don't mind tuna. Yeah. I can deal with a bit of cod from the chippy. But having cod from the chippy has been deep fried. You know what I mean? So it's not brilliant, but it's okay. But the way that they go on with all the salmons and the, all the other bollocks, wherever it goes there, I don't know. But, it costs a fortune to get a bit of fresh fa uh, salmon like, you know what I mean? It ain't cheap. I've got to deal with this now, ain't I? So, of course, listening to this one doctor going, Mediterranean diet, blah, 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 then the other one saying, yeah, but, I'm thinking, oh, I like her, at least, at least she's, uh, you know, uh, is thinking about this and knowing that everybody's different, we're all individuals, we have got different palates as well. Me personally, uh, when it comes to fresh vegetables, I love vegetables, don't get me wrong, I love them. There is a couple of uh, vegetable groups that, to be honest with you, in my book, should be labelled as toxic, right? Turnips, parsnips, swede. Mm, I can't do them. Oh no siri Bob. They are horrible. I can force a turnip down my neck if it's in a stew, but I'd rather it not be there. Right? Mm. Swede, that's just fucking nasty. Oh man, that is revolting stuff. Horrible. Ugh. Nah, can't do it. Roasted turnips and spot and parsnips. Ugh. No! Who want that? It ain't food, it's fucking horrible. Yes, I know, if it was the only thing that was edible and you had no choice. Yeah, well then I'll be fucking eating it, throwing it up, eating it, throwing it up. I'd, I'd, I'd be dead within about six fucking months. <clears throat> it just doesn't do anything for me at all. <laughs> Sorry, we just don't. It's just... Ugh. But, like I say, again, when you've got things like that, what do you do? I can't eat all those types of But I have got to limit all the vegetables I can eat, so there ain't no problem there. But again, Preparing it, cooking it, blah 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 in it. It's the cost. It just costs too much. Far too much. So when I count my calories, I make sure that I can see the other labels of the food and what I have and make sure that they have got the right stuff in there to a point. 
yes, I know McDonald's are brilliant, but they are better than most. Right? There's no way on this planet that you'd ever have me go into a fucking Burger King. Fuck that. No. Uh uh. I don't know, there's a few of you out there that do think that they are the bee's knees and McDonald's are a lot of crap. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> it's simple as that, you're wrong. Um, but again, some of the fast food stuff, when you go into the, the deli side of it, you know, it, they are pretty good. No, they're not too bad. It ain't brilliant, but it's better than fuck all. And I'd rather have that, the chicken side of things, than having greasy, fat beef burgers and, ah, fuck that now. Can't believe it. To be honest with you, I'm not really a, a meat eater of such like, apart from your chicken anyway, to be fair. So, you know, I don't do it, so, yeah. But it's nice to see that when they're going on about the epidemic that this country's facing, when it, we're coming to the overweight people and the, the after effect of people being overweight and the, the overweight and the the illnesses that that does cause, right, with your diabetes, your liver problems, your kidney problems, your breathing problems, right, you know, all of it is is connected to being overweight anyway, right, so, you know, it's a difficult thing, and we all know, that. I've mentioned it before, and I ain't going to go on about it too much, but I just thought I'd let say that about this carol counting thing, and the fact that that one woman did actually make a lot of sense on the fact that we are individual we can't all go on mediterranean diets for one we might not like it for two it's fucking expensive and uh, you have to do what you can right calorie counting may not be the best thing but it is in the right way because they all agreed that what goes in has got to come out if you put more calories in than what your body uses, you're gonna gain weight. There's just no two ways about it, all right? So, there, end of discussion, done. Ooh, look at the pretty clouds. Still got a sore lip, it's doing me a dinner. Uh, hurts when I smile. But, in the words of Mickey Norris, happy Friday. Yes, it is, it's Friday. Well, I'm hoping that I can get this up for Friday for you sometime this evening with a bit of luck. It shouldn't be too long. As long as this traffic doesn't keep fucking slowing down, it should be all right, but we're at 42 minutes as it is, so who knows? But hopefully it'll be straight back to the yard and that's the end of it, so I'll get in fire this one on straight away get on with it get it done oh look already have look you're watching right now i'm good i am aren't i ah <laughs> oh, dear low flying aircraft that's never fucking good is it turning yes not good that not good at all that sounded like a brick or it could have been my plastic bottle it could have been my plastic bottle whoa 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 you just fucking shove yourself in there sunshine don't worry about me i'm quite all right i don't mind you fucking just doing that mm, never mind i don't know why i don't know where and i don't know what for this normally is reasonably clear going up and over here it only tends to get chewed up when we get to the 62 60 bit because of the road works but it's rigging twice now i've come over here they've been sticky annoying and pissing it in the rain but you know 
Hi ho. What do you know? At least we've come through it now. We're in the sunshine, sort of, near enough. It is nice now. It is a nice scenery. Nice things to look at. And uh, the fact that a few of you out there have actually commented on that. And, and, and it does give me a warm, fuzzy feeling when I think to myself that you are also not just the, that, but the soil and we're looking at things around in the scenery and uh, the different locations and what I do. I like that idea. It's like, oh, someone's actually you know, took the time to give me a little comment on the fact of the, the nice sceneries that I, I do try to do for you lot. M62 junction 22 to 18. What long delays? Oh, what? Uh. Well, we've gone past 22 there. Fingers crossed that was in the morning. And we ain't gonna have a bother. What do you reckon? Are we gonna be that lucky? Hmm, well, we're flowing, so. Ooh, look, valley. It's got 60 on the on the matrix, so. It may have come to an end. Might be the back tail of it. Maybe that's the reason why all that was there. Hmm. And why? More than likely, because somebody has had a boo boo. Because instead of paying attention, they drive like numpties. It isn't difficult. Got eyes everywhere. Keep looking, watching, looking, watching. You know, it, it doesn't it doesn't distract you from anything else. It doesn't. You don't lose anything else. You don't miss things. You know, it, it makes you more aware. If you instead of like using tunnel vision, like some drivers do, and they're just looking forward and very seldomly. When you're in a car, checking your mirrors, because they don't very often, I'll tell you that now, they really don't. If they did keep an eye on the mirrors, as they're driving down, you would see things more often than not, obviously. And you would anticipate things happening a lot sooner, right? And then that way, we can slow down with a preemptive strike, like I was just done, nice and gradually and I've still got a nice ample gap between me and the vehicle that's in front we don't want to be stationary we want to be flowing because that's what motorways are for right but when they're too busy occupied doing other things you would Jace you're yakking to us a lot on YouTube what are about ah there is a difference I am still with my head watching keeping an eye on there as I'm explaining now, believe it or not, right, what does the advanced driving course teach people to do, right? When they're driving their vehicle, they have to be audible of what they see and what is approaching and what's around them. As they drive down the, like, uh, a town street, they'll be going several parked cars down there, person in between the two cars in front, there's a left-hand turn up ahead as well, there's a vehicle waiting in front of there, turn, he wants to turn right, there's a uh, junction just ahead of that, on the right-hand side he wants to turn left, and you have, you're always, there's, there's three cars behind me, there's one that's going to be indicating left to go left, and the one's turning right, and you're audible all the time as you're going along, right, to let them know that you are seeing things that are there, being aware of the not-so- obvious dangers the ones that are beyond the normal driving uh, test you're always aware of what's other on you don't just take it as face value we've got to look beyond that further on it if drivers are taught to look five cars in front advanced driving is ten cars in front you know and you, you just you're always aware of things around you making sure that you do keep an eye out see things in front of you that's all you got to do keep your distance when i'm driving this thing i make sure that i've got a plenty of distance between me and the vehicle in front it's annoying when other drivers do cut in front of it because then you've got to back off right 
but because they drive in this tunnel vision kind of effect and they're on their own little bubble their little steel bubble they don't think of what is on the back of this vehicle now I'm all right because I'm fresh air I'm carrying nothing right so I am roughly around about 15 ton and this vehicle is quite nimble at 15 ton right and I can stop slam on the brakes as much as I want within reason right because even though I'm light and I've got nothing in the back I could still end up jackknifing yes that's true that can happen I mentioned it before it's all to do with the uh, the braking system on the vehicle itself you've only got to have the unit brake way more earlier than the trailer and if he, he wants to depending on the road conditions you could slide and the trailer will push you around but that's another scenario so again I'm all right I can stop with an emergency I ain't gonna have any problems and it's it'll be fine hopefully fingers crossed <coughs> But that's all it's all about and uh, I do I think I'll do quite well you know as far as it goes with being aware of what's around me and paying a sort of amount of attention sometimes I do get sidetracked because I'm only human I mean I do make the odd mistake now and again I'm not gonna I'm not fallible you know I am it's one of those things I do make mistakes it's one of those things I'm not I'm not a computer right um, well there you have it but that's the reason most of the time where is the trying to do other things as well as paying attention to what they're doing and while I'm doing this yes I'm yakking to you and I'm coming up with this conversation but I'm keeping an eye on the vehicle that's in front of me because he keeps slowing down right I'm watching the vehicles behind me because I keep my eyes on the mirrors on both sides even though it's an odd shell here but I'm watching this side as well <coughs> I keep me on that mirror, watch for the vehicles coming out on this side here, try and move over if I can, because as I'm doing now, that's part of the manoeuvre I'm going to do to allow these on, because obviously the hard shell will tend to lose. That guy behind there was nice enough to let me out, to let these in, right? It's all part and parcel of you, because you've got to keep your eyes and head and thoughts and aware of what's around you and how it works. And if you work with the traffic, right, it all flows. So what I'll think of it anyway and I'll try my best to but then you've got to also deal with the people who don't think like that which to be quite honest with you is the majority of them if they all worked together and paid attention and was aware of the surroundings and what they're doing more so than just going I've got to get to there where from A to B try it I mean it's dead easy I mean it's, it's it's not fucking rocket science to be honest with you it really isn't if you're driving down the road and you you're in your car or your van you know if you're in a car you've got your rear view mirror and you've got your other mirror right try it drive down the road and talk as you're doing it but don't talk like I'm doing talking shit be audible about what you see right whether it be to yourself or to your your mate sitting next to you or your missus you know and she'll look at you going what the fuck are you doing and you go like you know you're driving down there kids crossing the road at the top of the street there well, there's a pedestrian cross and there's one there that's come across the fucking thing behind the railing so oh, what a nickhead shouldn't have done that should he now he's usually using a pedicure because like everybody else does cyclist coming on the left hand side of me oh right there he is look yeah, yeah, I've seen him earlier yeah, I have took him before you know what I mean you've got to be aware of things like that but keep thinking about it and audible and you'll then come to a point where you'll do it naturally right you'll see things naturally you'll anticipate them before it actually happens you say it you go you overtake a cyclist and you go down your high street a lot of people just overtake it and that's it they'll forget about it but what happens if they get caught at a pedestrian crossing or a set of traffic lights that cyclist is still coming down and sometimes they'll come down and, and they will be in front of you or they'll be just coming towards you as the lights change again you may not see them and you might clip them because you might not be paying attention but you remember those sort of things if you speak them out and talk about them I would take the cyclist blah 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 
keep my eyes on there because I know I'm going to see him again shortly because I've just come towards these lights. But like, you know what I mean? It's just sort of that kind of thing. It, it, it does help. It's a prize in how much it helps. But I do it inside my head. You know, I don't actually start talking there out loud like that. Not like I have done for you a lot, like mind you, but you know, it does. <laughs> And I know that I'm here sat in the middle lane. So before you start whinging at me, it's because I'm queued up in traffic and I can't be asked to fucking move over. So fuck them. That's what I say. <laughs> and Mr. Fucking, uh, what is that? Mammoth Ferry? Is that what he says? Mammoth Ferry. He's uh, enjoying the YouTubing. I imagine that uh, it wouldn't, wouldn't that be funny if that was one of my subscribers. You never know; it might be. So uh, we'll see. See how it goes, and then uh, he'll go. Oh, you! Yeah, I passed you on the M62. I did you? Yeah. Oh, well done. So you're the one who was hanging out the window, fucking doing the filming thing, driving in the motorway, that your hands on the end, the window screen, <laughs> on the steering wheel even. Oh, it's naughty, 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 naughty. You shouldn't do it. <clears throat> do you know what right <laughs> saying that I haven't really actually met anybody yet out there on the road at the services or anything like that never have I know I've only got a small amount of uh, subscribers in YouTube landers, you know, as far as your subscribers go, I mean, I have got over 1400 now, but I've never met anybody on the road yet, never seen anybody. So, if he is the first, then brilliant, that'd be real cool. That will you never know. One day, I might see some of you at one of the services I'll stop at now and again. What do you reckon? Shall I do it? Shall I, shall I be brave and when I get to my uh, collection post on Facebook that I'm going to limb services? Would that be viable? Hmm. It's the service, isn't it? Hmm. I'm thinking. I might. I might do. Because you never know, somebody who's in the vicinity may end up going to limb services. I'm going to go and see them, have a chat, five minutes. Because I am feeling a bit hungry, I could do with having some real food instead of fucking chocolate and wine gums. So, there you have it. Well, you've got your indicator on. I've left you the gap, you can pull in if you want. I don't know why you want it, but hey, whatever. We're all pootling. Well, this is the reason why I always end up in the middle lane when it comes down to things like this, because of the junctions. It makes life easy for me. I don't want to get off at any of these junctions. There's people trying to get on, so I just move over. Simple as that. Makes life easier for me and easier for them. So, when I uh, do pop off to uh, limb services, you never know. And I, uh, I'll post it on Facebook and go, I am currently at limb services. If you're in the vicinity, come down and have a chat. And if you do, you might be on YouTube. 
What do you reckon? Shall I do that? Oh, look. I already did. I'm good at that, AI. <laughs> I am, ain't I? Fucking unbelievable. I am just a fucking superstar when it comes to this lark. I oh, don't mind blowing my own trumpet. No fucking else does it for me. Is there anybody else absolutely fucked off with these roadworks? I know I am. It is becoming, you know, a, a rarity to actually drive along a road without having to queue with roadworks. It is nowadays. It's fucking insane. And the sad fact is, is that once all this lot's finished, with the fucking years that it takes to complete, they'll start again on something else and fuck someone else up. Oh, should I not say that till I now repair something else that we've fucked up? Come on, dear brain, fuck it in here. Hurry up and shift out the fucking road, you gomper. This guy is very long. Very, very long. Let me move past him. Blip, blip. So, yes. There you have it. Can't think of anything else. Can't think of anything else to yak about. I'm all yacked out. I'll find something. I'm sure I will think of something. Uh, oh look, pretty clouds. <laughs> oh dear. But I like clouds. I'm sad, I know. But I like them. They're nice. It always fascinates me how the fucking things end up sitting up there. They've got all that water in them, which should weigh tons upon tons. How the fuck do they float up there? It makes no sense to me. I don't get it. I don't get it at all, no. No, not at all. Oh dear. <laughs> I shouldn't be tired now. I should be fit as a fiddle. I did go to bed reasonably early. It wasn't mega, but reasonably. About half ten, I think. After watching The Equalizer. Good film, that. I've watched it several times now. Still good film like it a lot I like it a lot well it was either that or the Twilight Saga I, I just couldn't decide <laughs> so I went, I went for the equaliser instead yes you heard me right I'm a sucker for the old romantic crap I really am I love it it's great oh dear I oh, don't know maybe I'm just a hopeless romantic at heart I do like my films though, I do like my films. It's like tomorrow I'm going to uh, see what's on and I'm going to have a trek down and go and see because I didn't get a chance um, last weekend because obviously that fucking three hour epic video I had to do which took me all bleeding day. Uh, this time I'm going to go to the cinema first and then I'll still put the video up later on. It shouldn't take that long, hopefully, fingers crossed. So, um, yes. And besides, oh, I ain't say nothing. Um, I've only got um, right front of me, so I haven't got left. So unfortunately, it's an absolute bastard. But thankfully, though, it was in a uh, in a man truck. So at least it's got a big fuck off screen.
I am looking forward to going through that though actually I really am but first pictures got to go to the pictures yep I'm in two minds whether to go and see um, Jurassic World Mission Impossible or whatever else is on I can't think there's, well, there's a handful of other films that I wouldn't mind having a look at so whatever I'll see I don't think Ted 2 is out yet. I think it's out on the... Is it September 2nd or 6th? I think it might be the 6th or... Mm. Something like that. September Summit. I think. It ain't out yet. It's out everywhere else in the world. Not here. We always seem to be fucking last. It fucks me off, it does. I don't know why. We well, shouldn't we be first? Now, if America gets it, we should get it. Simple as. <clears throat> no. No, we end up being last. I think he just goes round the world that way. You know what I mean? And obviously we're last because we're right next door to fucking Ireland. Oh fuck me, Ireland get it before we do. Do they? Yeah. Mad in it. Would be much of a much better if they could do a global release of all these major films instead of like in different countries at different times I'd rather them do that but that's another fucking story altogether isn't it yeah <clears throat> unfortunately we have to suffer with what we got but I shall go on Saturday in the morning see what's what it might be I don't know I'll have a look at oh I might have a look when I get when I get to uh, Trafford Park. I'll have a look to see what's on. <clears throat> I might uh, suffer the old uh, Mission Impossible. I might. We'll see. Mm. Whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> we'll see. More horses. <laughs> Isn't this traffic wonderful? Eh? This is what I have to deal with on a fucking daily basis, I'm telling you. It seemed to be a rarity now where you could just go. Yeah. Not now more. No, stop breaking, please. Let's go. I've only got a good end of the road here. We're almost at junction 18, I think, of the M60. Almost. I think. Looks like it, anyway. <clears throat> I want uh, junction 9. That's what I want. I want junction 9 for traffic Park. Do you know what? I can't wait to put this video up tomorrow. Not this one that you're watching now, obviously, the one tomorrow. The one from the other, other day. The one off Chicken Farm. I can't wait for that. That's going to be brilliant, that is. You'll see what I mean by the best drive along ever. It would be fucking the ultimate of ultimate if it weren't fat and I clumsy, clutchy twat. I'm getting bored. <sighs>
Too much traffic, not enough driving. Too much traffic, not enough driving. Yep, as always, as you do, you try your best to shoe on yourself through it, but you know, never happens. Always seems to be a bit of a pain in the arse. Every single time we drive down here, you shunt, 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 stop, 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 shunt, 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 stop, stop, stop. I mean, it's like, well, you do realise that you spend most of your life in traffic as a driver. Yes, boys and girls, if you want to become a lorry driver, this is what you've got to deal with. It ain't fun, it ain't pleasant, but it does happen. And there's not a lot you can do about it. If you pay attention to what's around you, like Mr. Bloke here in his Scania, who's sparking a fag up, whether it's his own truck or not, but you know. It is illegal to smoke in your cab. And there he is, hanging out the thing in his, his window. Thinking it's fun being on YouTube, <laughs> but the only problem is he's smoking a fag. Well, hey ho, it happens. Never mind. I could be cruel, couldn't I, and put him on there? But yeah, you know, why not? Leave it off. Not bother. He's one of those fucking dream catcher, dangly, dangly wanglers. I hear three is oh, with his fillies all around his cab. I do apologise for those out there who do like having a bit of the Philly dangly shit, but... Nah. Can't do it. I just can't do it. Now you put your indicator on while I'm here. Why would you do that? Shouldn't that do when I'm behind me? So I ain't gonna have you fagging out the window. <laughs> oh dear. There you are. He's behind me, out of the road. At least we are moving now. Sort of. It could be worse. It could be stationary for hours first and then move. So we are trickling. I'm doing 20 miles an hour. Somewhere at eight at the end of the day. Oh, we're creeping up. 25. Yay! Can we go faster, please? Scream, we've got to go faster! Yay! Oh. Could that be the reason why? Oh, look, there's an accident on the other side of the road. Let's slow down and fuck our lanes up. Funny how we've just gone past that bit there now, they're recovering that car, and there's a lorry there, and there's a, you know, and we're all starting to move now as a, as a normal type of speed for these road works. Unbelievable. Rubbernecking bastards. Absolutely flogging lovely. If you're that bothered about traffic incidences and you want to see shit, right, do what I do. Stick cameras on, film your day, and then when you get home, at the comfort of your fucking chair, you can play it back and watch it. To your heart's content then. Unbelievable. But, a um, bit of safety tip, right? When it comes to videoing, right? Don't get using your fucking phone and holding it like this. Right, that, that, that's just stupid, right, no. Cameras being in a fixed location, so you haven't got to mess with them, they're out of the way, doesn't interfere with your driving, it just videos, that's all they're doing, just recording. They're not doing anything else other than record, right? That would be a bit more sensible, they're I mean, nice. Sidecar bikes look old, really cool. So, a bit of an handy tip there, bear that in mind. I mean, I've got the two on the back. I can't touch them, can I? Well, there's one in the centre here. 
can't exactly do much with that one. I can turn it off with one who, but I don't want to. I want to record it. It's going to be recording me. And what's going on around me. And watching these fucking numpties. We're slowing down again. Mm. <sighs> what are we on now? An hour and 14 minutes. One hour and 14 minutes. Which in all fairness would, out, would probably be, without this crap, less than an hour. If we didn't have the delay over the uh, pipe pens and we didn't have this lock, less than an hour from uh, where I've been leads to uh, Trafford Park especially when I'm empty which is always a bonus it's always a bonus yes yeah. if I'm not mistaken Mr Low Loader <laughs> must have been his fag because he ain't smoking it no more. He couldn't smoke it that fucking quick unless he's inhaled the fucker. <laughs> oh dear. Me personally, I don't see a problem with it. I really don't. I mean, who's it bothering? Nobody. Where's the smoke go? At the window. So what's the problem? Why does it matter? And you know, this stupid rule that you can't smoke in the cab is just ridiculous. But don't get me wrong. Right? We know that it's ridiculous. Right? We know that it's a pathetic rule. But what did they say? And what did they come up with to justify it? Well, what about the bloke who comes and, and do, inspects your truck, your vehicle? once every six weeks what about them they're inhaling your smoke um, no they're not it will stink of cigarettes I can't argue there because the obviously the nicotine will soak into places it won't be smoking there that'll be gone because it goes out the fucking window but all the other shit does like stick to the curtains and the upholstery and what have you but hey whatever that's what smell is for and you, uh, might be a few drivers out there who agree with me. You know, I, I, I say, I mean, to me, I don't see the point. It just seems a bit, you know, they've, they've made that rule up just for the sake of making that rule up because they banned it in the factory workplace. Driving a vehicle has got fuck all to do with it. Yeah. But it's your place of work. It's a vehicle I'm driving. The road is my place of work. Not the vehicle itself, that's just a vehicle I'm driving on the road. So you could look at it like that if you want. A bit of a strange subject to talk on, it's smoking fags in a cab. Whatever. But there you are, you see. Would you agree? Do you, do you, do you find that, you know, am I right, am I wrong? Does it make sense to you that, you know, you should not smoke because it's a work environment, but is it really a work environment with it being just you in the cab? I mean, me personally, because I share this vehicle with another person, well, well then yes, I could understand that to a point. But again, realistically, they're not inhaling the smoke because it goes out the window. You know, you can't get any more ventilated than having two fuck off grabby windows and a sunroof open. Well, there's plenty of ventilation for the size of the room in here, so I can't see the problem. Maybe I ought to be in charge. I do make more sense, don't I? It's very true. Tanker. I did say tanker, not wanker. Mm, we are almost approaching junction 13. We've got 14 to get rid of first, and obviously 15 is in front of us. Right, but once we get round there, get rid of the exit of 13, then it'll be past 12, and it should should ease off a little. I'm dreaming, and really, I am, and I'm fucking dreaming. 
today, right, this, this is what my day's been like. I got an empty trailer, went to Stoke, sat up there for two hours, that's including being loaded, and then I've delivered it, sat up there for nearly two hours, including being unloaded. So that was what my day has consisted of so far, is four hours of hanging about. It's crap, isn't it? And the added bonus of driving down here being delayed by probably about half an hour, maybe 40 minutes, depending. Because I know for a fact that it doesn't take that long to get from there to here. So, you know, you've got an, I'm on air in 20 minutes so far and I've still got to get down the road here. So, delay, 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 and it keeps delay, delaying, delaying even more. Hmm, whatever. But this is the life, this is the, the joys and the perils and the heartache and the absolute fucking numbing effect of the brain when this happens like you know it's just one of those things <laughs> i think that's why when i get to drive down the countryside and on the country lanes and stuff like that it's a lot more interesting <clears throat> I do like that better. Because we haven't got to suffer this crap. Doopy doo. Agua. Oh. Can't. Can't beat a bit of agua. seems to me that just lately we, we have had a, an incredible amount of vehicles on the roads of late. I don't know what it, what it is, I mean, it's just my perception, I don't know, but even with the road works and maybe it's just a certain times of the day, but I do feel like as though there's more vehicles than normal, as though we've had an influx of vehicles for some reason, I don't know, I don't know. it just seems a bit odd. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't. Honestly, it just seems odd. Odd the fact that we're driving down here. We've got fuck all to do, but wait. Dribble, dribble. Wait. Dribble, dribble. Wait. If am I going on now? I am in. I'm boring in here, I? I do apologise. I can't wait for somebody to, to uh, comment on me saying, Jais, why would you keep going over the line when you're driving down the road works? I, mean, I ain't going to say nothing. I'm just going to wait for it. But you never know. 
one of you out there might go, oh, well, this is the reason why. I've got a weird noise appeared all of a sudden. <coughs> I have got a weird noise, and I don't know where it's coming from. It sounds very strange. Beep. Sounds like something's vibrating. Ooh, I don't fucking know, it's weird, isn't it? Really, really weird. Don't know what that is. That's fucking odd. I've got something vibrating somewhere anyway. Stir me, I didn't. Sound to worry about, I suppose. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, down rattle now. Now I'm doing nothing. Sounds like the dashboard's le uh, loose. Wouldn't surprise me. They do get mistreated a lot. These vehicles do. Almost there. Not far away now. There just isn't going to be enough time of the day, is it, to put all these videos up for you a lot? There really ain't. Even though we are stuck in this lousy traffic, the sun is still shining. There's a nice view of the clouds over there. This lane is starting to move finally, with at least a bit of frequency. Bearing in mind that there will be people coming from my left. It's out that uh, nobody plays silly buggers and decides to fucking cut me up. Tell you United started to ease off when we get round here. I knew this was coming. And this should be it now. Nice and steady, all the way to Travel Park. Yay! Wiki! Wonderful magic! Great! Awesome stuff! You see, driving that close with each other, that's what causes problems. It's alright doing it when you're shunting down the fucking motorway, but not when you're actually travelling. See, as my, have you noticed, as my gap has appeared again, look, because we're actually moving now, 45 miles there, I've got this nice little gap between me and the person in front of me. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's just it's instinct, I don't even think about it, I just do it.
will be approaching the flyover in a moment <coughs> another uh, viaduct it's probably got a name the one that's uh, on the M60 but I don't know what it is because you've got the Fairwall viaduct which is over on the M6 but this one here don't know could it be the Earlham viaduct could it be because it is like near Earlham you can get off there for Earlham <coughs> could it be the Trafford Park viaduct who knows Oh look at this! Oh, isn't it a wonderful sight? Until they decide to fuck you up. Come on, we're doing all right. Then what are you doing? Let's go! Come on, let's move, 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 move. move. I'm towing the truck now because the truck's going. Uh. Nice. Once we get over here, I gotta move over because I gotta get off in about a mile and a half. Mm. Don't like leaving it too late, but the majority of people coming down here do actually get off at junction 10, which means it gives me space to go ding 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 to get over. Ah, oh, it's just too easy for words. There's no complications about it, it's just fucking. Straightforward. At least you think so. Traffic Park Shopping Centre. There is a name for it, but I don't know what it is. So don't ask me. I ain't got a clue. Oh, I'm aching now. Fucking neck's aching. Oh, it's old age. That's what it is. There ain't no countdown markers, so I'm gonna guess when to indicate. Yes, they've ripped them up. Because they're fucking about the road. Now watch this now, really. This is strategic driving, this is, okay? Junction. All right, I'm gonna be going left at this junction, but. I wanna be on the right hand lane. Don't have to be, but I want to be. Right? It's a 40 mile an hour road, as you can see. The big fuck off dustbin lid size signs that go 40. Uh, hello, it's 40. So, strategically driving up this road here for my advantage because I can travel over there, keep on the right. I know that we are supposed to be on the left. But there is a reason. It saves me fanning about later on when we get towards the island. Because when we get towards the island, I've got to go all the way around it and almost come off back up the same one, but you get off at the last exit. Right? So I'll stick myself here. If I'm travelling at 40 miles an hour, it's alright. It's the speed limit, right? So it shouldn't be a bother. And hopefully, people will take note and they will travel themselves at 40 miles an hour. What do you reckon? Will they do it? I'll do it manual because your fucking gearbox changes is wank. Come on, let's have a bit of go for it. Come on. I want 40. 40 miles an hour. Jobs are good. Right, so now we're at 40. Right, as you can see, the vehicles are moving along a hell of a lot faster than where I am, anyway, that's for sure. But there's no need for it, it's only 40. So that's why I get up to 40 miles an hour in the right hand lane because at the end of the island, I want to be going all the way back around again. It just saves me having to worry about that, going down there and having to come over here again. Because sometimes, not all the time, right, but sometimes it can be quite busy down here. And I'm on about the sometimes that I actually come down here. I mean, you're probably busy at one point all the time. And um, it's a bit of a care bag trying to get over. 
So I'll just, to save any hassle, I'll get here. Cause it's only a, a better mile, if that. Probably less than a mile, actually, to be fair. And there we are, at the island, where I want to be, on this side. Mindful of my mirrors, left especially, while people are coming up on the inside of me, making sure that I've got room to for my headboard. Got to be, you know, there's got to be room for my headboard. Making sure I check my right mirror to make sure my wheels don't get climbed in the fucking the curb into the island because it's a weird shape. This island is. It's not quite round. It's got bits that stick out. All right. And then we off here, round here. And as you noticed, if we were paying attention. There is no speed limit on this road that you're aware of, but there is a speed limit before you get to it. Because as you come to that island, it's right there in front of you. At the island, the speed limit changes right there to 30 miles an hour. Any road that comes off an island with a speed limit at the start of the island, right? If it's a different speed limit, we'll have a change of speed limit after that island, right? If you enter a road after the island when the speed limit has changed from what you were doing, then it continues on. Hence, at the island there, it changes to 30 miles an hour, right? If you go round it, one of them goes to 40, one goes to uh, 30, one goes to 40 again, and then so on and so on. So, because there is no change, and there's no sign, it stays at 30. Well, of course, unless you do what I do sometimes and completely fucking miss the signs because you're not paying attention. I do that sometimes, you know, I'm not, I'm not but I do keep looking. Because there's, in the, then you think to yourself, well, there should be, but there isn't. Repeaters. Right? If there's repeaters, then great. Because they will allow you then to be aware that the speed does change. Right? And it's down. But in this area, on this type of road, looking at it, using your own thoughts, you go, well, this is bound to be either a 40 or it could even be a 50. But it's not. It's only a 30. Yes, it's a dual carriageway, but it's still only 30 miles an hour, and the amount of people that get it wrong, unbelievable. Trust me, they do get it wrong. Well, ladles and jelly spoons, we're here, we're done, we're on our way. So, as always, without further ado, you have yourself a grand day. Enjoy yourself, and I hope you enjoy this uh, little jolly we've had, even though we've been stuck in fucking traffic. And I'll speak to you later. So, so go on then, you've had your fill. Off your pop.